Hello everyone and welcome back to Shanahan Militaria. In today's video what we're covering is these and these are shell dressings and field dressings from different time periods. So what we're going to do is, I have a selection of them here, so what we're going to do is put them on the table. Um, I'm going to show you how you can tell when they were manufactured, dates they were manufactured, and who manufactured them, and when they were issued. So we're just going to put them on the table now and we'll have a quick look. So now that we have the shell dressings, and the, or the field dressings here on the table, we're going to have a quick look at them, and we're going to start with this one. So this is a reproduction of a first, or sorry, Second World War one. Um, you can see by the loose treading here on the side that it was designed to be just pulled open. Now I've never opened one of these so I don't actually know what's on the inside of it but uh, I do have an original that we'll talk to about what should be on it. So on the inside of one of these original ones there should be two different bandages. So that's initially what a field dressing looks like and what you will also find on it is you will find the manufacturer, um, normally it's date of manufacturer as well you will find, war department, things like that. I will show you in other ones. So this is your Second World War reproduction field dressing. This is an original, so this is the little bandage that is on the inside of these and you will find two. This one is dated 1943, I don't know if you can see it there. And the marker or the maker is Johnson and Johnson. And there's a little safety pin here at the top for fastening the bandage. And uh, you have instructions and things like that. You're not going to read the instructions when you're in a hurry to put this on. So that's um, a field dressing. Now this is another World War II shield dressing or a shell dressing. For home office air raid. Uh, so this is ARP. You can see the date on it there. Uh, December 1939 I believe it is. So I like that. And then this is the manufacturer. The date it was manufactured. Same thing again. You have a, a tread here at the top that you pull and it will rip this stitch in and then out comes your shell dressing. The difference between a shell dressing and a field dressing is a shell dressing is bigger obviously and it is designed to cover more of an injury, hence shell, and then you have a field dressing or a first field dressing. So that's my shell dressing. That's the only shell dressing I have to a certain degree. The rest of these are field dressings. Now I have these done in date. These are all Australian. So we're going to start at this side. So this one is actually Vietnam era and it's plasticky. Now, I don't know if you can make it out, but the writing and everything has pretty much washed off of these ones. Um, it just gives you the arrow where it's broke, but you can hear the plastic on the inside to keep it waterproof. So as I said, Australian. This is the next one that I have if we go in sequence. So this one is, there's the expiry date on it there. Well, expiry, whatever you want to call it. Uh, 2010 to 2012. Australian again you can tell that by the uh, crow's foot or the arrowhead depending on whatever way you want to say it manufacturer as well so that's an Australian one now the difference between the more modern ones and these the actual bags themselves can be used because they're heavier and they're actually waterproof is you when you, when you open up the whole bag you open it flat like a piece of paper and if you have a sucking chest wound you put that on the the hole pretty much and then you wrap the bandage around it to try and stop that vacuum so that's an uh, I, I, I don't know if people are told that about field dressings that the, the covers actually can be used as well so as I said so this one is 2012 this is another Australian one again as you can tell you have the crow's foot here on top or the arrowhead broadhead whichever you want to call it uh, manufacturer and the date is there February 19 or 93, February 93, lot number. So that's a, another Australian one. Now these ones are British and they're both made by the same manufacturer. The only difference is when this one was vacuum packed, they, obviously the vacuum was wrong in it or something or something happened and this one, the seal was done properly. So you can see the difference in the size. They're both field dressings. Have it here on the top. Oh, sorry, that's the print. That's the, there you go. Joint service dressing, first aid, camouflaged. And there's the measurements 20 centimeters by 19 centimeters. And then you have the other one. Now, we'll just show you here first of all where the date is on these. There you go. So there's the date, April 10th. Now, field dressings are different when it comes to the modern era ones, whereas you're issued one of these now. 
and you're issued what is called a cat tourniquet. I don't have a cat tourniquet now at the minute. But a cat tourniquet is just a, a black strap pretty much with a, what they call a ratchet bar in the middle of it. And when you put it over the casualty to, if they have a bleed, you put on the ratchet strap or you put on the strap, you tighten it down as quick as you can, you use the ratchet strap to close it off and then wherever there's still blood coming out, you pack it with one of these then. So that's the difference now compared to uh, the older times when shell dressings were just issued on their own. Now they're issued with something else. Uh, the more modern one, the Israeli type ones, which are completely vacuum packed so you can carry more of them. They're literally like a, a sandwich. Um, they're uh, embedded with a thing called quick clot and quick clot helps the, the, the blood uh, co coagulate and, and stop bleeding. Um, now, as I said, these are both made by the same manufacturer. So you have Frank and Sand there. And on this one, here with there as well. So they're both the same manufacturer. The Irish Army were issued these also, as well as the British Army. Um, as I said, these ones are Australian and then these are, are Second World War. So the idea of showing you this video was just for yourself, for your collection, just a nice little shelf filler or pocket filler or something like that. So if you like what we provide here at Shanahan Militaria, please like, please subscribe, please tune in for the next video. And if you would like to get in contact with the channel, don't forget that the email will be on top of the description of the video. Thank you.